I am Jane Chung, Vice President of Public Cloud from Palo Alto Networks, and I'll be talking about cybersecurity trends throughout COVID-19 today. We see a significant increase in the number of cyber attacks. Our research team called Uni42 discovered a substantial increase in newly identified host names containing the COVID-19 pandemic. More than 86,000 plus of what appeared to be qualified domain names were classified as high-risk or malicious websites. There is an increase in ransomware attacks, targeted phishing, and mass attacks on healthcare sectors. The COVID-19 related threat presents tremendous challenges to the security teams. These cyber attacks hit hard to frontline COVID-19 fighters dealing with the situation including hospitals, pharmaceutical companies, and biotechnology labs. Three reasons, financial gain, easy target, and use it as an entry point for a larger attack. First, financial gain. For cyber criminals, the health record with the private and personal information are attractive and highly valued information. The healthcare providers typically pay up the ransomware attacks, even if they can recover those uh, sensitive patient records from their backup systems, because they must put life or death urgency in the highest priority. Number two, easy target due to high vulnerability. The healthcare industry lags when it comes to cybersecurity digital literacy among personnel and there are insufficient regulations and enforcement and outdated software making it an easy malicious cyber target. For example, 83% of medical image devices run on unsupported operating systems. Many medical devices such as a ventilator or robotic surgical equipment are now connected to the Internet of Things. More IoT device means more attack surface for hackers. Number three, entry points to a larger attack. Imagine if the significant criminal organization has access to modern hospitals. The criminal organization can seize or shut down a large hospital or a group of hospitals across the city, state, or even a country. If this type of cyber attack occurs, the enemies can compromise national security without causing the physical war. Two things I would recommend. A zero-trust security approach and a network ring architecture. I recommend zero-trust security approach it's a security concept that enterprise business should not automatically trust any information either from inside or outside of its perimeters. All business sectors should verify the credential of uh, everything that trying to connect to their systems before granting access. A network ring is a configuration in which device connections create a circular path where packets of data travel from one device to another device until they reach their intended destination. Network ring limits the damage hackers can do if they can get into the uh, network as they will be trapped within that ring. 